Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. I'm a wannabe time trial triathlon bike nerd. So please hit subscribe on this channel right now. Thanks. So I'm literally watching Oceanside 70.3 right now, but I've just noticed that Lionel is riding the old Canyon Speed Mics and I simply had to make a video about it. So Lionel Sanders is sponsored by Canyon, which means he has access to and has been riding the Canyon Speed Max CFR disc. But as we can see, that is not the bike he's riding. Why? Now, I think I know why, but please do let me know your thoughts down below. I'm more often wrong than I'm right. But let's look at what he's riding. So this is the Canyon Speedmax CF SLX, but it is the previous model. It is the rim brake version. And it's in the Movistar team colours. So Movistar are a world tour cycling team. This model is not the triathlon model. It is the time trial only model. So it's a pretty basic TT bike. Obviously, it's top of the range spec wise, but it's pretty basic in terms of there's no built-in hydration. There's no tool storage. There's no built-in new nutrition i think this is all nodding towards him wanting to ride the lightest bike that he can the oceanside course has a couple of significant climbs in the back half line this is gonna be a race where lionel's coming from behind so if he's gonna want to try and close that gap he's gonna be wanting to climb up those hills as fast as possible and that's where power to weight becomes more important than power to drag the new speed max cfr is supposed to be faster drag wise than the old one but it is not lighter there are various stats around about how much these bikes weigh but based on the information i found on the canyon website the, the model that lionel is riding now is 8.2 kilos the same model but the triathlon version is 8.5 and the current speed max cfr disc is 9.2 so taking the one Lionel's riding versus the current Speedmax CFR, a kilo difference. Now, normally that wouldn't be a massive thing for a time trial bike, but on a course where there's a lot of climbing and where you're specifically targeting the hills to close some time, power to weight is everything. And losing a kilo from your bike is massive. If you're an athlete, you know how hard it is to lose a kilo of body weight. One kilo represents over 10% of that bike's weight. So I think Lionel specifically requested this from Canyon. With it being in the Movistar colors, it's not like he's just kept hold of an old bike. He specifically requested one from Kenya which they've given him which obviously they've got and I think that's a really interesting decision I like to see athletes thinking outside the box as well as that he's probably thinking about the Ironman World Championships in St George in May there's a lot of climbing there as well so maybe he's testing this sort of strategy but a few other reasons to why I think this might be a decision he's made again please do let me know your thoughts down below is Lionel against disc brakes in general that could be a possibility we hear world tour cyclists like Chris Froome not exactly singing the praises of disc brakes has he had disc brakes rubbing have they annoyed him has he had a mechanical breakdown in training and it's put him off them who knows but it could be an option the only other potential reason i thought about it was on his current bike he's got a massive chain set probably for flat and rolling courses did he want to go to a bike with a smaller gear in i don't think that's the case because i'm sure he would have just swapped the crank or swapped the chain rings or whatever but that's the only other thing i can think of so anyway let's see how it pans out for him at the minute he's not quite closed the gap just yet but he's got some climbing to go so Come on, Lionel. I'm going to go back and carry on watching this now, so see you later.